Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video I will show how potential field techniques works uh, in an implementation that I have prepared in the software compilacy VREP. Okay? So in this case what I have is a Pioneer P3DX robot. Let's zoom it. Here it is. And basically I have added first uh, a dummy here just aligned with the wheel of the robot as you can see there and the x-axis is pointing forward which is this, this direction and this will allow me to get the robot position but also I have included in this case the main sensor which is this Hokuyo fast or fast Hokuyo uh, laser sensor which is also pointing uh, the x direction is pointing forward okay as you can see there and it's also aligned with the wheels okay uh, in the environment, I have prepared several obstacles, like these plants here and these um, obstacles there. And also I have included a goal that the robot must reach, which is right here. It's just a flag, as you can see, which is actually is not, um, cannot be seen with the, uh, with the laser, because I have disabled some uh, detectable properties in this case, and corresponds to this object here. Okay, so let's zoom out and see how this potential field works. Okay, so let's start the simulation and you can see that the robot is moving. It's basically detecting obstacles with the laser scanner. It's avoiding them. Okay, so it's pro uh, working properly. And there might be situations in which if you try to execute this kind of uh, simulations, if you place the flag in a different configuration, probably just here, just behind one of these obstacles, the potential field techniques get trapped in the local minima and probably the robot doesn't know how to solve it. Okay, so it works in some, sit, uh, or some situations, but it might fail in another situation. Okay, and uh, you will see that in this case, the robot almost gets trapped here because it does not know how to, uh, in this case, avoid this obstacle, but it's slowly turning, and then it realizes that it realizes that it has a gap here, and then it's able to move towards the the flag. Okay, there might be. I suggest you to to try a scenarios in which that basically the the path that the robot must follow is just a straight line that must oscillate or make smooth turns to avoid obstacles but otherwise it will get trapped in a local minima okay thank you very much